India's transforming energy landscape, with stronger than ever thrust on renewable energy, holds manifold promises for the country's enhanced energy security, reduced oil imports, improved air quality, and low carbon growth. Energy sustains life, and renewable energy empowers our sustenance. India's clean energy transition continues at much faster pace with focus on non-fossil, fuel-based generation, self-reliance, climate action, technology advancement, economic growth, and energy security. At present, India's installed renewable energy capacity has crossed 100 gigawatt, excluding large hydro, showcasing remarkable response to India's commitment to deploy 450 gigawatt renewable energy by 2030. Ensuring the power system's reliability in the face of increased renewable energy penetration is of central significance to power system operators. To address this, an array of ancillary services needs to be maintained to allow balancing of energy supply and demand in real time. Regulation reserves are used to constantly, automatically balance small fluctuations in supply and demand in real time. Generation units that are providing regulation services must be able to respond to automatic generation control or AGC signals from the system operator and change their output accordingly on very short time scales, typically 2 to 5 seconds. Considering the future growth of renewable energy to meet the Government of India's targets, regulation reserves have been identified as necessary to compensate variations due to load and renewable energy in the second's time frame. One of the pilots implemented under USAID's GTG RISE initiative aimed at supporting the adoption of AGC through enhancement of existing IT-based control facilities at two hydro units, Varahi and Shravathi, in Karnataka, as well as a solar plant in NP Kunta. JTG has also come out with a successful implementation of this project and only the implementation phase is pending, so that will be completed also. And now, I am proud to say that we have almost 44 gigawatt of conventional generators are operating in the automatic generation control in the country and uh, NP Gunda is the solar, it is going to come as a pilot project and then it will be integrated with NLDC for their study purpose and giving a report so that it will be helpful for the uh, all other solar power plant can come across the, the AGC because flexibilization is required because of the, the integration of the renewables. So this AGC automatic generation control will play the role for smooth day, smoothening the frequency at the same time uh, helping the grid in the secu secure operation. Partnering with Karnataka Power Corporation, Karnataka Power Transmission Company Limited, NTPC and POSICO, the pilot identified technical requirements and compensation mechanisms for generation units that participate in the secondary reserve market. How quickly the states will come on board with the initiatives taken from the centre. So any policy or anything will be successful when and both the approaches are there. One is the top-down approach, another is the bottom-up approach. Now all these pilots are from the top-down. When a, giving a feel, feeling that yes, this can be implemented and this can be adopted. This strategic clean energy partnership between the United States and India captures their resolute commitment to a cleaner and sustainable environment. The two watchwords of the 21st century.